Man, what a beautiful morning to be headed out to the foothills. The rain was done. The air was calm. It was a little chilly, but not too bad. But there was this dead-end road I wanted to check out in the Sheep River Valley, so I headed there. But as I started to go down it, I hit a southern Alberta traffic jam. And once I got past that, well, that calmness of the morning was kind of gone. It was blowing so hard this poor little swallow could barely hang on to the fence. But I'd been on this road before, many times, so I knew where I could get out of the wind. It was nearly calm underneath these big cow parsnip leaves. And I found a lot of the flowers that I'd come out here to look for, like geraniums, bluebells. What's this guy? Oh yeah, that's a geranium leaf. Funny how they turn red all the time. These are the tiny flowers on bed straw. An anemone, an anem anem a white flower. There were plenty of wild roses around. This one had a longhorn beetle in it. Some little bug made a home out of these leaves. And close by, another bug rolled up a Saskatoon leaf to make itself a little house. Down low on the ground in a damper part of the forest, there were these wintergreen blossoms. The bees sure seemed to love them. And then out in the open meadows where the wind was really howling, harebells and blanket flowers and tall geraniums. Meanwhile, the swallows were really having a time getting back to their house to feed their babies. Which seemed to lead to some bickering. I'd really like to know what they were saying to each other, but I don't speak swallow. And then that southern Alberta traffic jam caught up with me. So I just stayed still and let it go past. And after the cattle and the ranchers moved on, I had this dead-end road all to myself. That in itself makes this short drive quite pleasant. But the main reason I come here is for the diversity of life and landscapes along this short track. Along here, the ecosystem seemed to change with every bend in the road. There was paintbrush on the edge of the forest, and then barely a kilometer further down from there, tucked in among the tall spruce trees, this place looked like a miniature Jurassic Park. There's horsetails and fungus and other things that like to grow in the damp parts of the forest. But then, only a couple of turns later, a meadow with buttercups and those gorgeous wood lilies that are just starting to bloom right now. And all this along a short, dead-end road that essentially leads to nowhere. And you know, that's kind of why I love it. Even though I do hit the occasional traffic jam. <laughs>